Busy Bird, welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today, Steve joins the battle. I can't believe it. Minecraft Steve for Minecraft is in Smash Bros. I just, I could not believe myself when I saw the announcement video. And now he's finally here. It's just surreal, absolutely surreal. But we also have version 9.0 here, which is pretty cool as well. Fighters Pass 2 volume, or Fighters Pass Volume 2 now available for purchase. Um, Fighter Pass Volume 2 as a bundle of six DLC challenger packs. Yep, we know all of this. So first character was Min Min, which we checked out a few episodes ago. Now it's Minecraft Steve and Alex and um, I think Zombie and Enderman. The Steve and Alex Challenger Pack, which includes the fighters Steve and Alex from Minecraft along with their stage Minecraft world is now available for purchase. Oh, Creeper Mask plus Outfit, a Mii Fighter costume based in the Minecraft series is now available for purchase. Cool, and the pig one, and a diamond armor one, and then I don't think that's for Minecraft. Oh, we got Bomberman, that's cool. And then Gil. Oh yeah, I know I know what game that's from, I just don't remember what it's called right now. Either way, the most exciting thing, Minecraft Steve has been added to Smash Bros. I just absolutely can't believe it. We'll be playing classic mode with him today, checking out his skill set, and then playing a little bit online. It just, oh, I just, it's still weird. I feel like I'm playing some fan version of this game that was dreamt up by somebody, right? This, this can't be real. Well, we got the Steve route, Journey to the Far Lands. What a cool reference, too. Um, we got Alex as a skin as well. And we have different skins of Steve and Alex, as you can see. Then we have the zombie and the Enderman. And how they made the Enderman work is they made the Enderman have normal length, the legs, it looks very silly. But we'll start with uh, Steve here and we'll play some of the other characters um, later in today's episode maybe, but definitely in the next episode when we do the Spirit Board DLC. But with that being said, let's head into the classic mode. Ah, oh, this is cool. Did they change the music for this? I don't know. Um, either way, we'll start with 4.0. Yep, let's go. And hope for the best. I don't know if Steve will be an easy character to figure out or not. I feel like probably easier than Min Min. Round one, horde battle against the zombie. So we're gonna be in the little Minecraft village and the zombies are gonna be attacking. Okay, let's fight for a little bit. What is that? Okay, there is definitely some nuance happening here. This is so crazy. I just can't believe it. I'm gonna finish this first round before we check out Steve's moves because I just really wanna get into the action. There we go. Whoa, we got the minecart move. This is so cool. Like, I just can't believe this is a thing. Whoa, the lava bucket. Oh my goodness. And we destroyed them. We didn't lose any HP there. That was a perfect round. Getting us all the way up to 4.8 already. And before we get into our next round, which is round two against a bunch of Wario's. Are these supposed to be like villagers, creepers? I don't know. Whoa. Oh yeah, villagers and then an iron golem. Either way, before we move forward, let's take a look at fighter number 77, Steve's moveset. First, he has a neutral special, which is mine, craft, and breaking blocks. Collect materials from the ground by mining the floor. Craft the tools while at the crafting table or place blocks while in the air. Side special is mine cart. An iron mine cart will travel along the, the rails. Powered rails can be placed with the right materials. If empty, the mine cart will carry an enemy away. Up special is Elytra. Equip an Elytra, accelerate with a firework rocket, and glide through the air. Adjust the trajectory by inputting up and down. And then the down special is TNT. Use several materials to create an explosive block. Hold the special move button and left or, and left or right to use redstone and place a plate that can set off the block. Oh, that's interesting. And the final smash is the House of Boom. Create a big piston that strikes out of one side. The piston can hit multiple opponents, but only one will be launched into a dark room that then explodes. Ah, my battery depleted. No, bad timing. Okay, so let's see what's going on down here. The Minecraft and break block, or cre create block, which is um, neutral special. The neutral special works differently depending on where you are. On the ground, mine dirt, wood, stone, iron, and so on from the floor walls. You can sometimes obtain rare materials like gold or diamond. The harder the mining location is, the higher the chance to get rare materials. In front of the crafting table, create the strongest tool with materials on hand. The rarer the materials, the stronger the tools. In the air, use the materials you have to create blocks you can stand on. Materials that are easier to get will be used at first. So interesting, so much depth, depth to that. Why can't I move? Uh. Can I control her? Oh, here we go. I'm Steve. There we go. 
So, um, there's a lot going on here and I'll be trying to work with that. But yeah, I can dig the blocks on the ground. Where did I go? I'm over there. Okay, I'm gonna fall to my doom here. <laughs> I got totally thrown up. There's just too many people moving at once. Um, I think that the villagers on my team. Yeah, oh, you know what? The Warriors are illagers. I don't know too much about them because I haven't played Minecraft in a long while, but I'm gonna be talking about that later in today's episode. Oh, and Rob helps us because of course, the Iron Golem normally does that. But yeah, I can dig stuff like the wooden block here. And then if I'm near a crafting table like I am here, I can go ahead and craft stuff. That is so interesting. So I just craft some iron. And I can get some better tools. See you, Wario. So I didn't really get to go too far in that, but I currently have some iron materials and I can just craft more and more and more. And that is why they were talking about the fact that they had to rework every single map in the game to work with Minecraft Steve. And now I'm sort of starting to understand why. So now that we've gotten that figured out, let's go against three links, which I have a feeling are gonna be like skeletons. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So I'm guessing every time Minecraft Steve is in the mix, there is going to be, um, there we go. Okay, how do I get out of it? No, get out of there. That's fine. There we go. Oh, there's one. Come on, we're not done now. All right, ow, these are attacking me. <laughs> Just like in Minecraft. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think there's supposed to be like skeletons attacking us though. So there we go. This is the first DLC character in a while though that I feel like I really know. Besides like Banjo-Kazooie, honestly, none of them have really felt like I've really known them. Um, going against a bunch of Pits and Robin. Ready? Now I think this is one of the, um, like the haunted villager houses. These guys don't have much health. There we go. So, so far, I'm not really, oh, let's use that TNT. But remember, that's not how I'm supposed to do it. I just haven't really had the chance to do it correctly. It's a little bit weird so far. Um, that wasn't too bad, though. Maybe even a nice play. Yep, nice play gets us up to 6.1. Two Kirby's and two King K rules. Oh, two ghasts and two of the other things I don't know the name of. But I know what they're from. Like, they're from the Nether Update. We'll see ya. Why does he do so much damage? It's crazy. I mean, maybe it's just easier difficulty. Maybe they changed that in the update or something. Classic mode update, maybe not so bad. Okay, watch it. Yeah, throw that lava down. And if you guys aren't gonna bother me just for a second, if you don't mind, I'm gonna craft some stuff. No, okay, don't get out of here. There we go. I'm trying to be careful of the lava, but we're certainly supposed to be in the nether right now. There we go. All right then, we got gold, ow. And with better tools comes more attack. Oh, there goes Kirby. Now I just gotta get rid of the King K rule. Oh, dropping the anvil on you. All right, ready? I don't know if that can actually hurt them or not. The up special, oh, okay, I got hit by the lava, but so did he and knocked him out. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> We're doing pretty decent. I mean, I know I doubted in the second round because I was, I was just sort of off put from my controller just connecting. Oh, here's the Enderman. And this is gonna be at the end, I think. So, where the big dragon is and you fight them and the Enderman. But yeah, you can see they have sort of like normal length legs. Oh gosh, oh gosh, be careful. Oh, I sent them flying. Why did they, they take damage so much easier than you'd expect? It's so weird, because like that does a lot. Okay, they also, of course, have <laughs> the same stuff. But I can't believe this, this is like totally surreal. But I guess what that meter's doing on the on the icon on the bottom there, like above Minecraft Steve, is that it'll show you sort of the value of materials you have. The more of the iron bars, the better. Oh, I got diamond! You're in trouble, I want this way to get armor. Probably not, but you never know. Whoa, come on, there we go, use the pickaxe. Mining my way to victory. Ooh, see ya. Oh, you can hit him with that. Great stuff. Doesn't do a ton of damage. Whoa, I jumped off the anvil there just at the right time. So I wanted to try, there we go, there we go. Oh, he's trying to stay away from it. So you gotta hold the button. There we go. Come on over. That didn't do enough. Come on, dude. Yeah, this is pretty easy right now. Ready? Yep. 
there we go, we got him. That was an interesting experience, but there we go, we took out a bunch of Endermans at the end. And that's a nice play for us, getting a 7.4 intensity. Why are we doing so good? And I messed up on the second round. Bonus key, here we go. <laughs> Don't think we have time to mine. I'm still waiting to like wake up in bed and be like, wait, okay, this is all a dream. <laughs> it's just so wild to me that Steve from Minecraft is in Smash Bros right now. I just, I always, I wanted it to happen. I talked about it a lot, but I never expected it, to be honest. <laughs> It just seems so unlikely. Oh no, oh my, okay. You definitely have to use the up special there. His, his jump power, not the best. Also doesn't run super quick. There we go. But honestly, I'm very impressed with that. I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more, I think. Um, oh, and that destroys stuff. Uh, a little bit more once we complete this classic mode, but I'm very impressed with the character so far and all the detail put into it. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get everything here, but so far not too bad. Oh no. No, Steve, what are you doing? Okay, well, the, whoa, we can really glide with that. Okay, I survived somehow, nice. Okay, keep running, keep running, buddy. Keep running, that's it. No, that's not it. Oh, minecart, no, <laughs> come on. He just doesn't move very fast for that. Okay, there's one downside, it's okay. One downside of many upsides is fine with me. Now we're moving on to Ridley and Ehrman, so maybe this is the Ender Dragon. I don't know what the other thing was supposed to be done. Um, so, ooh, gotta watch out for him. Oh, and that's gonna hit him quite a lot because he's so big. So what I should probably do here first, invest in getting rid of this Enderman, and then, Put that down, and okay, you sort of messed it up, but then you stood on it! <laughs> You're so silly! Okay, that's not really what I wanted. I wanna try to have a second here to build some extra materials. There we go. Ow. I got some iron. Why is my block breaking? My uh, crafting table there's given up. I don't know. There we go. I just need him to get out of here. There we go, I got gold. Let's keep going, I got diamond. And we should be able to get build blocks. Look at how cool that is! You can build blocks? It just, oh my gosh, it's so surreal. So how do we put the crafting table back down? Okay, I just, wherever I start digging next, I suppose. All right, ready, I'm gonna slam on you. No, I'm not. We gotta work on some other stuff here. I mean, he's just about out on HP. Why was this so easy? Like, I feel like the computers went easy on me. Like, it wasn't just that Steve is a really powerful character. It just seemed like they weren't as ruthless as they typically are in classic mode. I don't know. Either way, that jumps us all the way up to 8.6. One of our best finishes. And like I said, I messed up that second round. I feel like I wanna do it again to see what we get again. I could probably get over 9.0. I don't know if I've ever finished like that. Crazy. Either way, I want to listen to the music here. I've never heard this song before. I don't think this is from Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know what this song is from, but it's certainly not Minecraft that I know of. Either way, that was Minecraft Steve's classic mode. Had so much fun with that and really impressed with his moveset. It's a lot of fun and it seems to be super duper effective as well. I can't believe that Minecraft Steve is in Smash. I've said it multiple times, I still can't believe it. I would love to hear if you've been able to get this fighter, got the fighter past, have you been playing as him, um, all that kind of stuff. Do you think he's worthwhile? I think he's fantastic and I'll probably be playing as him more. Um, but of course, he's from Minecraft. That's why he's Minecraft Steve. Um, I have been sort of missing out on the Minecraft fun the last year or so. I've been so busy with so many other projects, I just haven't been able to keep up with it. I wanna change that super soon. I wanna go back into playing. I was doing some Minecraft um, marketplace showcases. I haven't really touched a Minecraft series in a while, so that's something I wanna work on. I wanna do a full survival series. I was sort of waiting because my computer was going kaput, um, and Minecraft is oddly an intensive game for a computer, so I got a new one and I'll be trying to set up a new Minecraft series soon. I wanna do a new survival series. I wanna check out some other stuff, oh, some adventure maps. 
uh, that probably will be their own series as well. So stay tuned for all that. I'm really looking forward to it, and hopefully you are too. But let's keep destroying some stuff here. Almost have all the tokens. And of course, we were keeping up with other Minecraft things. Um, Minecraft Dungeons came out, and I played that 100%, and all the DLC as well. Um, the Jungle Awakens and the the Creeping Winter both came out, and they just confirmed at Minecraft Live a new DLC. I think multiple, actually. Two instances of DLC. So I'm really looking forward to all of that. I'll definitely be checking that out once it releases. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. Um, but we almost got the tokens here. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right then, so let's skip all of that. Oh, end. I like that, so they built it. I guess you could, could you do that in the game though? I wonder, I guess so. In Smash, could you build without it disappearing that quickly? Very final interesting. Results. So our final re results with Steve, we get the Steve Fighter Spirit. We get the Toy-Con Car, cool. And a bunch of coin, bunch of SP. That's what I like to see. All right then. So that was awesome. And with that being said, we're gonna head out of here and we're gonna go online with Steve, probably against everybody else too, because I recorded this like right after the, the, the update launch. So I'm sure everybody is going to be playing Minecraft Steve. I pressed connect twice there. There we go. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the servers are crashed. I hope not. So unfortunately, it seems like the online mode is currently totally busted. I'm sure everybody hopped on it wants to check out Steve. Should have thought about that. So let's do some single player stuff. I could do a um, tourney with um, 15 CPUs. I need to be one of the players. So, um, and we'll just sort of work our way through this and see how this goes. It could be fun. Um, sure. <laughs> I, I don't want to read through all that. Um, so there we go. We'll play as Minecraft Steve, but we will change it. Um, to, that'll be me. Wait, 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 how do I change? I'm not ready. Go back. How do I change the skin? This is what I wanna do. And also stay tuned, because next episode we'll be doing the Minecraft uh, DLC. Uh, Spirit Board. Here, that's me. How do I? Ah, here we go. So let's try Alex a little bit. Of course, Alex is an alternate skin to Steve where they have thinner arms instead of the thicker arms. So that way, that wasn't right away that there was both Steve and Alex, but that was Alex was added after so that you could have the choice of having a character with thinner arms, which I actually prefer. I think that the Alex like model looks cooler or at least looks better with most of the skins I like. So yeah, and well, like I said, we'll probably be focusing a little bit more on Zombie and Enderman in the DLC episode. So, they're the Spirit Board DLC. What What is, not Amiibo. I don't have any Amiibo. Me, yeah, there we go. Um, what is, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm fine with anything. We're just gonna get into there. Smash Bros Ultimate Cup Journey. Mario looks so intense. Let's go. Alex is gonna win the whole thing. I sure hope. <laughs> going against all sorts of different opponents here. I see Dark Samus and Samus going against each other up there. But we're gonna start Alex versus uh, Daisy. Interesting combo here. Actually pretty similar looks, similar hair color. Uh, let's start. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't wanna forfeit. That'd be a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, Alex versus Daisy. We'll try to get a little bit more familiar with the moveset and everything here. Whoa, here I am. Oh gosh. So far, so good. I don't know what the difficulty's at. I just sort of was like, okay, it'll be what it is. Oh, ah, watch that. That thing is still exploding. There it goes. I wanna dig a little bit. I remember trying to build up enough materials so that I can make some iron stuff. You stay away from me, I'm crafting. Never mess with a Minecrafter when they're crafting. Okay, oh, I already got diamonds. Might not even need it. Yeah, but I don't know why the CPUs are so easy to die. There we go. Oh, I love that that does stuff. Thank you, see ya. Oh yeah, it stocks, so I have to keep going. But I'm at a fantastic lead. 
Wow. Okay. Um, on a fantastic lead. Still haven't taken any damage. I haven't tried the grab moves. Oh, it's a little, whoa, is it a tether grab? I think it is, wow. That's even more powerful. So, so far, Steve and Alex, very, very powerful characters. I mean, there's not really too much more I can do in terms of, well, actually, I think, no, okay. I got a little confused there. I thought I saw I had one tool. So I was like, do the diamond ones go away over time? Still very little damage taken. Gotcha. And of course, details about Steve being in Minecraft were added a little bit more during the Minecraft Live event. And like I said, they announced um, new Minecraft Dungeons DLC, but they also announced, uh, there we go. Can you step on that for me? I sort of messed it up. No? All right, let's try it again. Yeah, it worked. I like that, that's a really cool move. This is one of the few characters where every single move I sort of get, oh wow, whoa! <laughs> the creeper explodes and then Alex falls right on top of it. Interesting little uh, victory thing there. Haven't seen the final smash yet. Is there a final smash in this tournament? I don't think so, so we'll have to figure that out soon enough. But there was also the Minecraft cave DLC announced. I'm really excited for all that. So we're just gonna skip the battles that we're not in. Dr. Mario won against Bowser. Little Mac versus Inkling, Inkling wins. Piranha Plant versus Luigi, Luigi wins. Go Luigi. Dark Samus versus Samus, Dark Samus wins. I forget his name versus Young Link, Young Link wins. Guess I don't have to remember it. Villager versus Star Fox, Villager wins. And then finally, Lucario versus Terry, Terry wins. All right, so we're going against two, I think Dr. Mario looks like it. So you really, even though there's 16 people, you only have to fight three times, right? Three times, four times, something like that. There we go. Let's get into it. We dealt with Daisy super duper easily. I can only hope the same thing works for Dr. Mario. But there's only like one or two characters I can think of that like every single one of their moves I was able to work with pretty well. I think that'd be like Pichu and, um, oh, nice. Uh, Pichu. Okay, you just wait there. I'm just gonna keep digging. Why did I do that? I thought he was gonna attack the other way. He sure fooled me. Come on, come on. Oh, my pickaxe broke. I didn't know that could happen. Can you leave me alone, Mario? Thank you. Actually, you're exactly where I need you to not be. Diamond! Oh, <laughs> now you're in trouble. Oh, I love doing that. Okay. Not as close to the edge as I was hoping. Oh, it's exploding. Come on over, Mario. Oh. <laughs> All right, gotcha. I like how you get to sit here and swing your sword too. Oh, he's not gonna be able to get back up from that. Already down the one stock. Whoa, oh. Did he heal himself with that? I don't know. I think he would have if he wasn't already at. Oh no. He was already at 0%. Oh gosh. I can't get off the anvil. That was weird. Ooh. Gotcha? No, that actually didn't hit him. All right. No, 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 no. I was trying to grab him. He is catching up a little bit here, but he has quite a few stocks to go through. So I don't know if it's even something to worry about. I don't think so. There we go. Nothing to victory today, <laughs> except for the one time we weren't victorious. The, the, the symbol for Minecraft is a little weird. I know it's a cube, but I don't know. Seems a little odd. Uh, there we go, we took on Dr. Mario and we won against that one, three stocks just right away. And we're gonna be skipping this battle. Inkling versus Luigi. Inkling wins. Dark Samus versus Young Link. Dark Samus wins. And then Villager versus Terry. Terry wins. Semifinals. Here we go to the semifinal. So I guess it's, no, it's four battles, gotcha. We're gonna go against Inkling here. 
Hope for the best with everything. Okay. I mean, honestly, things haven't been too difficult. I don't know if that'll change this time. Whoa. Okay, you really don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> Just trying to buy time, really. So that I can start ticking. Oh boy. The only thing I haven't really done too much is I haven't been building blocks. Ow. Okay. I'm sort of fooling around a little bit here so I can figure things out. Okay, I got stone. I, I forgot that, yeah, that, that's an upgrade between wood and iron. Oh, you broke my crafting table. There we go. Or maybe, huh, interesting. So I guess I can, if I knock out the, let's build gold real quick. There we go, a little bit better. Oh, I wanna try, oh yeah, here we go. We get him trapped in a fence, interesting. But I like that tether grab. I need to keep in mind, it is a ranged tether grab. So I can do the anvil squish there. Oh, did my gold just break? I think it did. So once I make my way through the gold. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, but okay. There's different durabilities for the different weapons. So I broke, oh my gosh, through my, my sword there. So I just don't have a sword right now. Same thing with the pickaxe. You can break through the pickaxe, and it, I'm guessing it's gonna follow the rules of Minecraft there, where gold is pretty good, but it has really low durability specifically. So, be careful of that. Hmm. I'll just go ahead and grab you. Slam you with one of those. So, he's sort of been putting up a better fight with me, but I also think it's because, there we go. I've been trying to figure out the little nuances with Steve and Alex here. Thank you. And I think we gotta build another one. So that is something to keep in mind. Obviously that is a bigger thing with the sword than it is the pickaxe. And we can dig a whole lot faster with a diamond pickaxe, so. It's the only one who get, that can get to obsidian. I wonder if that's something we can do. And also, it's not looking like we can do final smashes here. I just failed to think about that in my setup, I suppose. Okay, can we get you out of here? Oh my gosh, I'm actually not playing so well now. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, see ya. I don't know why I moved extra fast there. Maybe the better materials I have, the faster my minecart moves. Ah. But definitely Inkling is moving a little bit better, a little bit faster with everything. I have to keep up with that, but we got him still, so that's nice. Well, look at us, we're building a little house. Yeah, <laughs> cool. All right, so 323 coins, and we're ready for the next battle. So we're ready for the finals here, but first, who is gonna win the semifinals on the other side, Terry or Dark Samus? It will be Dark Samus. Final. Not who I was expecting to go against in the final. Here we are. All right, so obviously, can I actually choose to play Dark Samus? No, I can't. <laughs> um, we're just gonna go into it. Alex versus Dark Samus. Couldn't think of two more different characters. One, and on the Mario 64 map. Oh, I guess Peach's Castle. Oh, do we both have Tether Grab now? I think we do. So remember, I'm starting fresh here. So it will be worth my interest to mine up whenever I get the chance. So if you could leave, that'd be great. I like how it just like, it doesn't take long though. Hmm. It doesn't take long to craft at least. Oh, that got me. All right, well, this will get you and so will that. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, I, come on, I, I knew it was coming and I tried to block it. Dude, get out of here. Oh, you wanna play that game, huh? I got you then. I, no, I got you with mine. Can you please leave? <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh. Minecart, yeah. I think it really is the better materials you have, the faster the minecart moves. Or maybe the higher percentage. Oh, see ya. That's all I wanted. I don't think you'll have your thing either anymore either way. So that's good. 
Now I gotta be careful though, because my percentage isn't that much better than Samus's was. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Because I think I have, whoa, diamond. Yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> semi flying. But I have a 65% lead now. Gonna dodge that. Thank you. No. Gotcha. Oh, because he knocked me out as well. Let's pull some diamond. Yeah, awesome. Okay, slam back down on you. Got 20% out of that. Cause you're on your last stock, I still have two, and I still have a percentage lead on you. You know what? Have some TNT. Oh, that's such a cool setup. You can make it so that when they land on the ledge, they implode themselves in TNT. See ya. <laughs> One last sword smack there to win the whole tourney. Awesome. So out of 16 opponents, Minecraft Alex wins. Great stuff there, for sure. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. I think that we've played enough now to get a good idea how Minecraft Steve and Alex work. Really fun characters, potentially overpowered. Um, but with that, we take the trophy. The champion, the champion. Alex. Alex. I like it. Um, so yeah, with that done, we're gonna head out of here, and I'm going to go ahead to the tips section and read a little bit more about Minecraft Steve and Alex and Creeper and Enderman, you know what I mean. Steve. There, oh my gosh, there's 60 tips for Minecraft Steve? What? That might be too many. I might skim some of them, I'm not sure, because that's, that's significantly more than any other character's ever had. Except for all. Um, that's insane. Either way, we'll read some of the more interesting ones. In their series, Steve and Alex are two of the many incarnations of the, of the player when they venture into the Minecraft world. Explore dungeons, create buildings, and trade with villagers. The adventure is in your hands, or hooves. Zombies from the series. The P7 appearance is the zombie, known to appear from the darkness and attack people. Fortunately, the zombies in Minecraft catch fire when they touch sunlight, burning away after a bed. Endermen from the series. The P8 appearance is the Enderman, one of the residents of the end. They like to teleport about, quietly carrying blocks. However, if you lock eyes with one, it will turn into a strong enemy and attack you. Tools and moves. You'll make use of a sword, axe, shovel, or pickaxe, depending on which move you use. Each tool will break after some use, which will reduce the power of any attack that uses that tool. Materials and moves. Materials are necessary for the moves Steve brings into battle. If you don't have the needed materials, the move will be weaker than normal, or even fail outright. Keep that, keep track of the materials you have on hand. And then mine at neutral special. So we have all these different things like mineable materials, neutral special. We sort of figured these out as we went along now. Um, iron, gold, redstone, and diamonds can be obtained from any kind of surface. Um, the material gauge, which we sort of got the idea of, so I really don't know if we need to learn too much more about the neutral special. Um, very good to know these different things. So, um, obviously you can read through them yourself and pause the video or you pull it up in the game if you have it. Minecraft cart spot side special, place rails and charge forward while riding in an iron minecart. If you jump, you'll leap out of the minecart, but it will continue forward. The first opponent caught in his path will be carried away, which is really good, I gotta keep that in mind. Stuck in minecart. The more damage a fighter has taken, the longer they'll be carried along in the minecart. Trapped fighters can move the control stick back and forth to help escape the minecart faster. Using the minecart repeatedly. You can use the minecart repeatedly, but doing so will reduce the amount of time a fighter is trapped in it. Minecart on a hill. If the minecart tries to go uphill, it will slow down, stop, or and even roll backward. However, if the minecart is going downhill, it will actually speed up. Minecart and powered rails. If you've collected gold and redstone, this is cool, this is the detail, I'm happy about this, you can place powered rails. This will increase the speed of the minecart and also allow it to go up hills. Very cool. Charge with Minecraft and powered rail. Use a special move button while riding in the minecart to place powered rails and speed up. Don't forget that this only works if you have mined redstone and gold. Reboarding the minecart. It's possible to get back in the minecart after you've jumped out, but you can only do this twice. Keep track of how many times you've jumped out. Minecart controls. Push left or right on the control stick to send the minecart rolling in that direction, placing rails along the way. Once you run out of materials and fall off the rails, the minecart will become will come to a stop. Materials for rails in order to place rails, you'll need to collect 
required materials is you to obtain materials like dirt will be used first. After that, you use wood, stone, and then iron. Destroying the minecart. The minecart won't last forever. After taking a certain amount of damage, the minecart will break. If Steve ha was the one who broke it, he'll be able to collect iron. And then we have Elytra, which is the up special. Elytra will allow you to glide sideways, tilt the stick up and down while gliding to adjust the angle and trajectory of the glide, which we saw in the bonus game of the classic mode. Firework Rocket. At the beginning of the move, the Firework Rocket ignites and increases your speed. You can damage your, any opponents you hit while the speed increases active, which we did. Cancel Elytra. You can cancel Elytra mid-flight by dodging or attacking while gliding. You'll fall downward after doing so, but you'll be able to move left or right as you a little as you fall. Time limit. After a certain period of time, the Elytra will automatically fall off and you'll fall downward. Be careful when this happens as you'll be vulnerable to attacks as you fall. All right then, so with TNT, we know that we can put it down and we can walk over to it. I don't think there's too much more nuance to it than that, but there's so much info on everything. House of Boom, I haven't done this, we'll do this in a minute. Create a large piston to launch multiple opponents to the side. One lucky, unlucky foe will get trapped in a dark room filled with enemies and explosives, which quickly explodes. Neutral attack, so different moves like that, but I've seen a lot of these, I think I get the idea. Um, so I think that we're just going to leave it like that. Sorry if I didn't read through all of them, it was just so many. But I also wanna go swing by the shop um, and see if there's any cool new stuff there. So shop down this way. And let's see, we do have um, Andros here. I'll buy that one, a little bit more of a rare one. Um, Shaman, uh, which is a Pokemon, I guess. Cool. Um, we got Frog and Snake. Oh, I can't quite afford this guy. Couldn't have before either. We got some support spirits here, Baxter and Forthington, but we have him. And then another uh, Inkling Boy fighter spirit. I guess I don't have this one, so I might as well grab it. There we go, not too bad. Cleared that out quite well. We're we'll spending some of our SP in the next episode with the uh, spirit board. But yeah, let's very quickly, games and more. Where's training? I wanna go into training, set up Minecraft, Steve, and then we'll also get a Smash Ball in there. There we go. And hopefully this will work out quite well. Yep. Um, I didn't get to change the items. I thought that I did that next. Whoops. Okay, I might need a second. Okay, that's how I spawn it in. So there we go, I have it, and then I just press this, giant piston comes out, knocks you out of here. Oh, watch out! Oh. <laughs> awesome. It almost looks like a pre-recorded video with the compression. Unless they really went through the effort of trying to recreate that kind of thing. I don't know. I think that they're just overlaid over a pre-recorded video. That's interesting. Wow. Okay then. So there you go. There was our look at Minecraft Steve, Alex, Creeper, I know Creeper, or Zombie and Enderman. We'll be taking a closer look at those latter two um, in the next episode when we take on the Spirit Board DLC and get some Minecraft spirits. That's gonna be so much fun. I can't believe he's in Minecraft. You know, it's just, oh boy, it's awesome. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.